channel. So my wife and I, we're going to attempt to redo this basement. But the first step is testing for radon since we're up in New Hampshire and a lot of houses up here have high levels for radon. So right there on the wood stove, we have a meter and we got some high readings. So this is our process for installing our own radon mitigation system. All right, so we are outside and this is where the system is going to go. So radon mitigation fan right around here. And when I go up the side of the house, above the roof line, and that's it. And like I said, we'll put a little um, single pole switch in there as a means for disconnect, and we'll see how it goes. that I need uh, we are officially ready to start so the first step is where are we gonna drill this hole through the uh, sill so I need to drill a four inch hole right through and like I said we're gonna come down this wall and this is where the pipes gonna enter into the slab so um, I know where this window is outside and I also know where this water line is outside so what I'm gonna do is I would like the hole to go right through exactly where the water line is, but over here. Also, I can measure off this window and I'll measure over exactly right where I need to be. All right, let's check it out. There it is. I think overall, it looks pretty good. It's in a good spot.
the next step, I need to mount this piece of pipe securely to the concrete. In order to make that cut outside, this needs to be securely fastened. So I have my piece of Unistrut, I have a two hole clip, quarter inch bolt, square washer, nope, that was a fender washer. This is a square washer, a quarter inch spring nut to go inside of the Unistrut, and a Tafcon to mount everything to the concrete. Let's do it. All right, it is successfully mounted to the wall. I had to change things up about halfway through. Uh, like I said, I was going to use some square washers, but uh, the clip wasn't uh, connecting it very tight. I didn't like it, so I had one of these uh, strut couplings laying around. So. It goes all the way behind the pipe, and then I use that instead to mount it to the Unistrut. Uh, the correct thing to do would be to use a strut clip, but I didn't have any on hand, so this is a nice, nice secure installation. I like it. All right, so this is the radar mitigation fan that I purchased, and this is the 90 that's gonna go onto the bottom of it. I'm gonna figure out where to cut by holding this up with the 90, and I'll make my mark. But before I do that, I just wanna go over the fan. It's, um, so right on away, RP145C. I purchased it on eBay and I will put a link in the description on where I got it. side of the house I have a uh, bat house and no bats live in it it's actually full of wasps I just discovered so that's right where my pipe's gonna run but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to kill them all I got nightmares uh, see how it goes. Head, I fear. Let the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper anxiety filling up every space no privacy and silently it could build and build until you finally see whoa it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really is complete it is in so the next step is the electrical so I'm gonna mount a uh, disconnect switch outside and we're gonna wire it up so we need to figure out how to get a wire outside so similar to this pipe install we're gonna take a look up here and from what I can see right there it looks like there's a wire that goes up into an existing wall it's probably the, um, the outlet circuit so we want to go on the left side of this pipe so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna drill a hole up into the wall, similar to this wire, and I'm gonna try to snake a wire outside.
shove it in the wall and we're gonna see what happens. All right, so I, I shoved the snake in and uh, looks like I can see it. So it only took one try. cover for the bell box where a switch can get installed, liquid-tight connectors, and liquid-tight. All right, so what you have here is we had that 14-2 Romex that came out. I stripped it, installed it inside of this box. I put a connector on the back, set screw connector, put a bead of silicone around it, screwed it into the wall. The white wires are your neutrals, so you splice those together. You splice it to the set of wires that goes over to the fan. And then your two hots go onto the switch. This one's a solid wire, so make sure you make a nice terminal loop and you install it so when you tighten it, it tightens clockwise. And then this wire is a piece of stranded wire, so you have to crimp on um, an end here. So I installed a fork terminal with the appropriate crimper. You can't just crimp it with anything. And then over here is the ground wire. I did a, a pig tail between this wire and the one that goes inside. And again, you install it so when you tighten it, it tightens clockwise. So now all I have to do is install this into the box. I'll put the cover on. And another tip uh, for this type of installation, make sure you take these ears off. The ears are only there for like a sheetrock wall installation. Uh, for a metal box, you got to take these ears off. That makes a nice, uh, nice tight connection. So that's it, it's nice and quiet. Now it's shooting right on up above the roof. All right, so one last step is you need to install this vacuum gauge. This came with the kit. So basically what it tells you is it lets you know if there's a vacuum or not. If there's no vacuum, it's not working right. But if there is a vacuum, then you're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and install this and this is the final step. like we have suction. All right, so I have some bad news. Uh, the hole that I made for that radar mitigation system, I think it's in the wrong spot. Uh, I went through a footing. That's why it took me so long to drill. So after looking at some photos online, I think I need to move it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make this, uh, I'm gonna turn this into a positive. Uh, I'm gonna take my bike up. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna take the bike to Home Depot because I need two more 45s. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and see if we can get this done.
But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument? So one of the main reasons why I redid that pipe was I wasn't getting the suction that I was supposed to. Um, I saw this trick online. I drilled a hole on the other end of my basement, and when I lit a flame, uh, it wasn't sucking in. But now when I do it, with the pipe relocated, the flame goes inside the hole. So now we know that we have some sort of suction underneath the slab, whereas I wasn't getting that before when I ran the pipe through the footing. All right, it's been a few days since the install, and I'm very happy with the results. As you can see, the radon is actually below the lowest limit on this meter. So this project, from what I can see, was a success. So I'm very happy about that. And the system was a lot of work to install, so I'm glad it's working out. And this is the final product. And this is what it looks like after I made a, um, a fix because I screwed up. I ended up running the pipe through the footing, which was a mistake. And I ended up regional the hole over here, which is only about four inches thick, so it didn't take much time. And uh, those are the 245s I had, to, I had to head back out and purchase and then install. So it wasn't a big deal. And I'm glad I made the fix because the levels on that meter are looking good. I put these stickers on here that came with the kit. And, um, and yeah, overall it looks pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll end this video with all the information regarding this install. I'll include the radar mitigation fan, uh, the sensor that I've been using for the last few months, and I will include how much everything costs, the radon levels before the install, and then the radon levels after. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, I'll be uploading some other videos in the near future. And no matter what, keep making progress out there. Thanks for watching.